an artist, sculptor, and painter, Mik Simcic has been bestowed the honor of getting, as the only sculptor, personal consent from Pope Francis to create his bust in stone. Mik decided to carve in the manner of the old Renaissance masters. The bust is made of white Carrara marble, the same used by the great master Michelangelo for his genius works. Given that Christ proclaimed Peter to be the founding stone of the Christian Church, the image of Pope as St. Peter's successor emerges from a rock. The sculptor tried to hear and recognize in stone the spirit of Pope Francis. He said he was able to feel the hand of God guiding him for it was the first time for him to be able to chisel a soul into a 400 million year old rock. There is an ongoing, outstanding dialogue between the entirely articulated portrait and the raw stone material from which the figure is emerging. It is a dialogue between the moment of the artist and the timelessness of the creator. This is the first portrait of a Pope with a hand touching a face, which was a great challenge for the sculptor, as it is difficult to depict a hand well. The hand emphasizes the facial expression and lets us know that the Holy Father is immersed in his thoughts and decisions, while his soft but piercing look gazes into the viewer's soul. The white bust stands on a mighty pedestal made of two colored marble of Hotaulia. The sculpture on the pedestal is 2.2 meters high and weighs about 1,000 kilograms. Mik Simcic handed the marble bust to His Holiness at a private audience in June 2019. Dije en la catedral in front of 500 people. I said, Querido Papa Francisco, gracias que es, y gracias para la luz de su corazón que ilumina nuestros caminos a los cristianos y también a los otros. Maria Inés me habla mucho de usted. ¿eh? Es un genio, dice. Pero zapravo je moj cilj dosežen, da sem taki osebnosti, svetovni osebnosti, kot je papež Frančišek, lahko izkazal tako čas, da mu naredim skulpturo in da se je odločil prav za mene, da mu naredim ta portret, čeprav je to pred tem odklanjal. Vsi pravijo, tudi vatikanski eksperti, ki so gledali tale doprst ekip danes, so vsi z občudevanjem govorili o tej mojstrovini gospoda Simčiča. In order to present the image and the spirit of the Holy Father in stone as well as possible, Meek made seven different sculptural portraits in bronze as studies for the marble portrait. Thus, the largest series of sculptural portraits of a living Pope in the history of the Vatican was created. As the sculptures attempt to depict different states of the spirit of the Holy Father, the series of bronze portraits standing on unique wooden pedestals is named the seven endless moments of Pope Francis. <laughs>